little brother, you make it too easy. Too easy. This is, this is what I don't understand about you, Oklahoma State. You hate OU. You hate the Sooners. Not because you're better than us. Heck, no, you're not better than us. You hate us because deep down you know you can't beat us and that you will never be our program. You hate us because we don't give you this respect that you so richly deserve, apparently. Yet you do things that just solidify everything we say about you. Do you even understand? Guys, I have to make a video about this because I just think this topic is so stupid and so absurd that first I had to laugh about it and then I had to make a video about this. Oklahoma State wants to release new uniforms. They want to be called the Oregon of the Midwest. And this just solidifies our OU fans' stance on Oklahoma State. The fact that they are not their own team, not their own brand. They don't have their own thing. That's why this is called a rivalry, but we just consider it an obligation game that we have to play. We don't consider it a rivalry. They are our little brother. They just solidify what we're saying. They don't even have their own brand, so they want to be called the Oregon of the Midwest by bringing out uniforms, brand new uniforms, black uniforms, orange uniforms, gray uniforms during a major recruiting weekend in January. So don't tell me you weren't releasing those uniforms to try to get more recruits. And that in itself is just really, really sad. The fact that you have to rely on uniforms to get recruits. Where do I begin? Where, where do I even begin? Okay, first off, <laughs> you really want to be called the Oregon of the Midwest because if you do, you're already late to that game because lately Baylor's been changing up their uniforms more than you have. Sometimes they go with their green and gold, sometimes all green. I've seen them all white with the white helmets. A&M's done that too. So you're already late to that game. But also, people are starting, are starting to write that this will give Oklahoma State an edge in the next season. What edge could uniforms possibly have? The only edge on the football field that a uniform has works for one team. Boise State on the blue turf. God help the other team because even when I watch those games, they camouflage in with the field. That's an advantage. That's an advantage right there. This just proves Oklahoma State doesn't have a thing like so many other teams do. Sometimes teams have things for consistently winning on a regular basis or consistently winning championships or consistently coming back from behind, comeback kids, or having a major home advantage. Those are the things that OU has going from Their things are winning championships, consistently having successful seasons, consistently winning at home. You look at our home streak since 2006, it is impossible to beat OU in Norman. Impossible. And we make it that way. That's our thing. You don't have a thing. So you have to go to Oregon. And you're comparing yourself to Oregon now because you think this will give you an edge. An edge in gameplay, you already reference Oregon because you said, well, Oregon uh, changes their uniforms up all the time and they were in the national championship. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. All right. Point taken. Oregon did earn their way to that national championship they deserve to be there but let me ask you this did they win that game did they become national champions no they didn't okay okay well let's go back one year they, they made it to the rose bowl they made it to the rose bowl did they win the rose bowl no they did not lost those games to auburn and ohio state so here's my question let's go ahead and take a look at the teams that don't change their uniforms, that consistently just stay with one uniform. And I'm not talking about throwback uniforms for one day. I'm not talking about the Nike Pro Combat phase from the 09 season. I'm talking about consistently. Let's look at Oklahoma, Texas, teams like Florida and Alabama. Let's look at the success that they've enjoyed over the last 10 years, heck, just over the last five years. Now let's look at Oregon. Oregon received these huge cash payments from Nike for these uniforms back in 2008, which is funny because back in 2007, AOL Sports actually voted them the worst uniforms in college football. So they unveiled this slew of new uniforms back in 2008. What kind of success has Oregon enjoyed since 2008? Well, let's see, they, they won the Pac-10 twice. They did win that when there wasn't even a conference championship game. And they lost the national championship. They lost the Rose Bowl. They won the Rose Bowl the year before that. So one postseason win and two conference championship wins. 
over a team that doesn't have a, com- a, a conference that doesn't have a national cha- uh, conference championship game yet. And I'd like to think that was due to Chip Kelly being the coach, to getting good recruits, to playing better. And also, that's also attributed to USC's decline because Pete Carroll left and all these sanctions came down. And if you don't think USC's decline had anything to do with Oregon's success, go back and see which team won the Pac-10 conference from 2008 back. Look at the one team that's dominated the most before that. It's not, it's not too hard to figure out. So where's that edge? And, well, let's look at what Oklahoma has done since 2008. Let's see. They went to t- they won two conference championships with a conference championship game and made it to the national championship. Texas won one conference championship game with a conference championship game and made it to the national championship. Alabama and Florida both didn't change their uniforms. They won national championships. Where's the edge in mismatching uniforms? Well, where is that edge? Let me ask you that. Now you're talking about having an edge in recruiting. Go back. Go back to all those recruits and tell me. Show me. Put down a list, a video list, a written list of statements from recruits. When they say, when they talk about the decision they made, they said, well, I chose to go to Oklahoma State because I like gray, a lot of gray and, and orange. I, I got to get me in those uniforms, man. It was the uniforms that really sold me on this team. I got to get myself in those unis, man. I just got to do it. No! They go to teams that win consistently, that have consistent success, not because of uniforms. Are you kidding me? Uniforms. Oklahoma State, you continue to think you're a brand, but you're not. You're comparing yourself to Oregon. You're not even giving yourself your own brand. (laughs) You, You want to know what recruits saw from you last year? That even though you had statistically the number one offense in the country, didn't stop OU from beating you in Stillwater. Didn't stop AM from beating you in Stillwater. And didn't stop your offensive coordinator from leaving after one season to go coach freaking West Virginia. That's what recruits saw. That's what they saw last year. You see, when OU has statistically the number one offense in the country, we win the Big 12, we go to the national championship game. But, you know, I understand at Oklahoma State, you guys are still trying to wrap your heads around getting to that BCS Bowl game. So, guys... That's really all I gotta say about this. Uniforms, uniforms giving the edge. <laughs> the, the history's on our side. We don't change our uniforms. History's on our side when it comes to our own success. Oklahoma State, there's only one type of people that have different mix and match things to wear on separate Saturdays. That word is women. So enjoy your new outfits, cowgirls! That's just all I gotta say. Boomer Sooner, guys. Had to make a video about this. I'm out. Uniforms.